welcome back everyone. Um, I hope you all got on okay with the head joint last week and getting the tone out of it. So um, I'm sure you, sure you all did and that you can all get a sound out of it. So um, today we're going to work um, with the, f the flute um, fully together. So the head joint back on the, the main body of the flute. So again, so those of you that haven't the flute put together already, just make sure that you screw the bottom joint and the head joint on nice and easy not to force it or push it in um so and then you line up line up your mouthpiece with the with the finger holes i'm sure that they're nice and straight um okay so um today we're just going to do a little bit about um how to hold it and the correct um, positioning of the flute so like i said last week if you're right-handed or if you're coming from the tin whistle um you'd be having the same hand on top that you have on the two missiles. So generally speaking, it's your left hand on top. So be same again, left hand on top here and right hand on the bottom, and then you're up like that. Likewise, if you're left-handed or if you're more comfortable with um, your right hand on top, and um, or if you're coming from the two missile with your right hand on top and left hand on bottom, do the same again with the flute. So left hand on bottom, right hand on top, and then you're up like that, okay? so. Um, so John, that's the reason why some flute players might have the flute going to the left or to the right. It just depends on what hand you have on top. So um, I'll be working here now with the left with the left hand on top. So we're just gonna um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna show you basically how to hold the the correct way of holding the flute. So we'll start with the we'll start with the left hand on top. Okay. So your index finger, pointy finger, is on the top hole. Your middle finger is on the middle hole, and then your ring finger is on the third hole. Now, a lot of people, when they first pick up the flute, they pick it up and they hold it like that. So thumb out like that. But what you need to do is you need to bring your right, or sorry, your, your left thumb around the back of the flute. So your, so your thumb is right around to the back. And that's so that you can access that key your B flat key when when you move on to um, a key flute, but we won't we won't worry about that yet. But it's just really important just to have the correct positioning. Also, if you're holding the flute like that, you're putting massive strain on your elbow and on your arm. So when you're holding it that, because there is a big spread for the finger, so it's a lot easier on your hand and on your tendons um, to have your thumb around around the back of the flute. So just you can see it there on the camera. Just the thumb is around the back, and then the Fingers, the three fingers are slanted, are slanted up. You can see it there, as opposed to coming straight out. They're, they're slanted up like that, okay? So that's the left hand. Then the right hand in, you can have that with the fingers going straight across the flute, and you can have it with your thumb at the back. So I'm sure you can see there, um, thumb is at the back, three fingers going straight across the flute, and thumb is at the back, okay? So, um, now, um, also essential that the holes are fully covered, that there's no um, gaps or anything in the holes, because if, if there's gaps in the holes, you won't get the sound out of the flute. Well, you will get a sound, but it won't be, you won't get a good clear tone, or the note won't be in tune. Um, so, it's essential, essential to um, have the holes fully covered. Then, when you bring the flute up to your mouth, so, you're, you, so you know the position to have it in, um to get the tone out so you can hold it up like this now some people you can see some people with the with the flute down on the shoulder don't do that though because um it's 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 just bad posture and it's bad for back because your your whole body is twisted if you're if you, you bring around your shoulder and then you're leaning down with your neck down this side and it's just your whole back and whole spine is twisted all the way around so it's just going to lead to back problems and, and aches and pains that can be avoided. So really important just to sit up straight against, back straight against the seat, um, hold the flute up and not to have it slant, falling down or anything. Keep it straight up and straight out from you. So it's, it's, a, it's a 90, 90 degree angle um, straight out from you. Um, so, and then you hold it up like this and then Ready 
huge chord with um, with the with the, with the notes. So. <laughs> So really important just to have a good straight body and sitting up two legs and feet on the floor and um, the flute bring the flute up to you rather than you bringing your neck down or your mouth down to the flute so you're holding it straight up so your 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 back is straight and neck is and you're looking straight ahead of yourself and you're holding the flute right up so it's really important just to have that posture that good posture um okay so um we'll leave it there and we'll continue on then the next lesson with um, we'll start doing some notes and i'll start showing you the um the, the scales on it and how to get the notes okay so thanks very much and we'll chat to you in the next lesson